All right, all right, all right, all right. Let me get this microphone. Let me get this microphone right where it should be. What's happening, everybody? Here from my home studio. Let me kill this music. Uh, boom, it's your boy Onyx here, going full nerd. And the subject of this week's video is why am I getting a recording and no, I'm not at Comic Con. Okay, as you are seeing this video, I am on the road. Um, actually, I'm going to go pay last respects to my father who recently passed. And one of the things my dad always taught me is never, ever, ever leave a job unfinished. So here we go. Now, I know you guys got kind of spoiled and um, I'll discuss the top five movies in a live stream when I return. I'm, I'm going to make that happen for you guys because we need to see how the box office looking. You know, we had Valerian and all that other good stuff come out this weekend. Girls Night with Queen Latifah, I think, or one of the, you know, black movie. You know, we just leave it at that. So I'll discuss what the top five is once I come back. I'll do a live stream uh, probably sometime on uh, Tuesday or Wednesday to get that going. Now, and uh, don't mind all the clickety-clack in the background, you know, just doing dishes, getting stuff done, you know, that type of thing. So we are going to talk a little bit about San Diego Comic-Con since your boy ain't there. And I got to kind of throw some shade at New York Comic-Con. See, New York Comic-Con, you know, they used to treat your boy like royalty small channel i was like yo they was like oh yeah come on get a press pass come come to our and cover our event come 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 now i submit my stuff to get a press credential to go up to new york comic con and um they they, they treat me like the you know like 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 i don't exist like i'm a like i'm a step kid or something i'm like yo what's up with y'all you know really so, you know, so they sent me my, uh, no, you, you, you can't come video. I mean, you can't come letter today, you know, unless you buy a ticket. I'm like, well, damn, that kind of defeats the whole purpose. If I got to go buy a damn ticket, you know, buying a ticket, I mean, it's all good. I don't mind buying a ticket, buying a ticket. That, that's, that's good stuff. I mean, it's cool. It's straight. I could deal with it. But the problem with that is buying a ticket, I don't get into the press area. And you don't get into the press area, you're down there with some of the funkiest people in the world. Bumping elbows, can't charge your camera, can't record your podcast. You know, it's just, it, they just doing your boys some kind of way. But that's cool. I got you. Thanks, Reed Pop appreciate it maybe as you told me for the last two years now since i was coming for the last five years before that i'll try again next year so we'll see what happens with that you know but anyway san diego comic-con and i get and the funniest part is i get invited to san diego i just can't afford to fly to san diego that's the issue so i don't know <laughs> you know hey the powers that be go figure but let's get down. Warner Brothers, DC Comics. I'm going to talk about some of the things I've seen over this weekend coming out of San Diego. And um, it's pretty damn awesome. I I'll tell you that now. First of all, the Just Justice League trailer. Oh! Okay, Warner Brothers. They just dropped major hotness on the internet. Let me throw that out there. But I'm not going to get wrapped up into the trailer but I am going to get wrapped up into what I call the biggest Easter egg in the whole trailer. And that was the voice of the villain Steppenwolf. And he was going, no lanterns, no Kryptonians. And I'm like in the back of my mind, whoa, 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 no lanterns. Hold on, you don't have Green Lantern in the movie, but you mentioning the Green Lantern Corps. Come on, people. You know, we got that movie. With the Ryan Reynolds, Green Lantern movie, and we were disappointed. Some of it was hot, some of it was not. <laughs> it was more not than hot, you know. But 
being that Green Lantern is one of my favorite characters from the DC universe, I'm like, yo, y'all better get him some, y'all better get him some screen time and do it right. I'm just saying. That's all I'm putting out there. All right. But seeing the upgrade in the trailer and the brightness of the movie, you know, that Warner Brothers has done with their live action stuff, specifically ever since Wonder Woman came out, who's featured heavily in the trailer, we might add, they might be in good shape this November. So stay tuned. That's all I can say on that. Another announcement or rumor control, Ben Affleck is trying to depart from being Batman. You know, a, a news break came out and said dismissing that rumor, but they also announced the title of the new Flash movie, which they're going to follow, Flashpoint. Flashpoint. So if Ben Affleck is actually trying to get out of this, this gives you the chance to create an alternate reality where Ben Affleck could get out of his contract. All I got to say, folks, remember, money talks. Can, can, you, can you hear me on that one? Maybe, maybe not. Continuing on with Warner Brothers, I love me some DC comic book animation. You know, I may complain about the live action films, and I may talk a little yin-yang about stuff I see on TV here and there, here and now. But what I'm going to say is there are few that are going to argue with me that their animated features are like, bam. Well, they just announced three more features getting the green light. All right. They're going to get the animated once over. First of all is Gotham by Gaslight. It's sort of like a, I'm not going to call it a steampunk Batman, but it's that you know, that old Victorian English Batman. There was an Elseworlds tale that was pretty hot with the uh, Victorian era Batman. So hopefully that that that'll be good. That'll be that'll be damn good. Then they're actually inserting the Suicide Squad. I remember we had the Batman assault on Arkham with the Suicide Squad, but they I think they're gonna try to take a cue from the movie. I didn't see much else on it. But it's gonna be called Suicide Squad Hell to pay. Hmm. Okay. Suicide Squad, hell to pay. So that should be interesting. We're going we gonna to peep that out. But this is the one. We, we've had Superman Doomsday that kills Superman. So now what they're going to do is they're actually doing the video of the death of Superman and the reign of the Superman. So if anybody been around collecting comic books for a minute, you know, Superman got killed in a big battle with Doomsday in the comics. And then they came back with these four different Supermen. They had like Superboy, uh, Steel, the Eradicator, and um, Cyborg Superman. So I think they're going to adapt this. Um, the articles and the stuff that I saw had, you know, Superman, Black Suit, Mullet. I was like, okay, they really took it back to the 90s on that one. So we're going to see how that go. But... Animation is their strongest area, so all of these are actually going to be no-brainers, all right? Now, Warner Brothers, I'm not going to talk a little bit about, I'm not going to talk about the comics, but I saw a trailer, and they got a trailer of a movie called Ready Player One. Okay, it seems like an interesting concept. <laughs> the Matrix meets video game licensing, yeah. Okay, not sure where they're going to go with this one, but visually it is appealing. Okay, it is appealing. But I do have to say, in the words of my man Chris Rock, damn this Spielberg something else. You know, you got to say it. And it's a Spielberg film. It is what it is, folks. All right, now, let's talk, let's talk a little Disney slash Marvel. All right. Now, since... They had the D23 Expo, you know. San Diego Comic-Con always seems like an afterthought. Now, by the time I'm doing this, you know, Marvel should be, like, deep in their press at San Diego Comic-Con. I'll talk about it on my live stream. But when it comes to announcements and the ability to upstage competition, I'm sure, I'm sure Marvel's going to do something. They're going to do something. So, but let's talk about what they've already put out. Netflix stuff. Boom. The Defenders trailer. It was decent, but not 
jaw dropping, folks. Ooh, I mean, but that runs poor for the level of which you know these heroes on Netflix play to their big screen counterparts. The only difference is we don't have to wait that long since the Defenders is actually going to drop all the episodes on Netflix August 18th. So we got a couple more weeks. We'll be able to peep that. And then the one thing that everybody seems freaking surprised at, Iron Fist gets a season two. So with Iron Fist getting a season two, even after it's less than stellar debut to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, it's one thing. It gets a new showrunner. So what does that mean for you? Can we say, <laughs> yo, homeboy, uh, you're not fired, but we're going to go in a different direction. So hopefully the fight scenes get a little bit better. And uh, Iron Fist is actually fleshed out like a, more like the comic book, man. I don't know what they were doing. But, you know, I mean, I don't like it, but, you know, it is what it is. Also, staying on the television kick, I'm going to go to broadcast television when it comes to Marvel. And that is, they've announced that Inhumans, you know, is going to open up in IMAX. Two hour or two episodes are going to be filmed in IMAX in theaters. And then it's going to go to television. Well, they're going to have an Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. crossover. They just announced it. I guess Marvel's taking the cue from Warner Brothers. And they will do their best to connect TV shows better than what they've been doing when they've been trying to connect the shows with the movies. What they've been doing, you know, is, is you know, like the episode Turn, Turn, Turn that happened during the um, Civil War, you know, reveals with all that other stuff. And then the Thor Dark World cameo. It's just a little here, a little there. Hopefully they can get these TV shows, you know, melding a little bit better. And then we'll be able to do some stuff like that. So... What does that bring us to? It brings us damn near to the end and other news. This is some other stuff. Other stuff that kind of caught my attention. Number one, Star Trek. You got a new Star Trek getting ready to hit. And um, it's looking hot. But this is one thing. Spock got a black sister? Y'all ain't hear me on this. Spock got a black sister. Okay, so Spock. His mom, who's always been portrayed as a Caucasian female, had a little chocolate in her life <laughs> before getting down with the Vulcans. Okay, so they just pretty much said that um, the captain of uh, the Star Trek, new Star Trek series, the black female, I can't, her name escapes me and I'm not going to pull it up on the web real quick, but she it looks, she's like the Spock's mother had her. And Sarek, Spock's father, you know, pretty much views her as an adopted daughter. That's what, you know, that you can't read everything and believe everything on the internet. But that's what I saw. But that trailer looks hot. CBS trying to get my attention outside of Big Bang Theory since they messed up and let Supergirl go. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then last but not least, Spawn is coming back. Yes, yes. Man, I love this comic book back in the day. Now, we're going to get another attempt at a live action version. For what it was worth, the, the last movie was a guilty pleasure of mine. I will watch that. You know, Michael J. White, John Leguizamo as the clown. You know, the special effects were cheesy. But, you know, hey, when you get a black superhero on screen, you do what you can do to support it. I'm just saying. So I hope that this actually makes it to fruition and this character gets the respect he deserves. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. Hey, I'll be back live. I don't know if it's going to be late Tuesday or even Wednesday, but I do owe you a live stream. I'm going to give you a live stream. Follow me on Twitter. That's Onyx, O-N-Y-X-X-X, 1969, and that will get you the update on when the show is going to drop live, because uh, I got to do the live stream. Uh, you know, I feel like I'm cheating you a little bit with this recording, but 
as always, you get the info from me. But this is your boy Onyx, and remember, as I always used to say on Coffee Time with your favorite nerd, when I used to do that nice and early in the mornings, is if you can't say nothing nice to nobody, don't say anything at all. And basically, sometimes you just got to tell them to hell with you. But anyway, remember to share this video, like this video, video. <laughs> Let, let me get that out of my system. And subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's it. You can see it pretty much over here if you're looking at the bottom image. Or down here if you're looking at, you know, that other image. I'm just trying something new with the camera angles, multiple cameras, seeing what I could do playing around. But remember, like, subscribe, and share. And your boy is out of here. Peace, y'all, and let me hear that music. Uh. Oh, yeah, y'all ain't ready for that. Yo, <laughs> I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.